guys, Cindy Hutter here with my RT Endeavors. Yes, it's me. I'm back. Um, yeah, again, life got in the way. Um, I ended up back up in New York with my dad. Um, hopefully we've got things straightened out now. Um, I also spent a week up there with my son. Um, it's just been crazy, crazy busy. So I'm back. I have hopefully a few minutes today to make a couple videos. Now I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I have not just done nothing at my desk. I have been working at my desk when I get a chance. Uh, my sister and my niece like to go to these um, Renaissance festivals, right? And they asked me if I would play around with some stuff and make some steampunk for them. And I said, sure, why not? And I, you know, had to get kind of an idea what it was. And they told me. So they basically told me the weirder the better. And I'm like, okay, well, I can do weird. So I just want to give you an idea of what I have been doing. No, I did not record this because it was just every couple seconds that I had a chance I would make something. So this is actually a brooch, um, and it's done in the steampunk style. They love the filigree. They love dragons. Um, everything that you see on here is something that they enjoy, um, you know, with their steampunk themes. And what they'll do with these is they'll take these and either put them on their hats or put them on their cloaks or, or their handbags, whatever. Um, and they just really like this. This one has a key in it, an old key. Um, a couple different filigrees, a dragon, like I said, the feather and stuff. So this is what I've been doing. It, it's been a lot of fun. I will definitely be doing more because I have more stuff on the way. I'm not going to show you every single one of these because there's just too much. Um, this one, I can't remember if I made this or a friend made this. I think my friend, no, no, I made this. Okay, this one, if you wear it this way, it's so hard to show you. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can put them down here if they'll look any better. Well, looks different, but let me go in. Okay, so this one again, this is a brooch. Um, this one, if, you, if they wore it this way, it would look like a peacock. And if they turned it around, it would look like an owl. So, you know, the things that I make, I've been doing a ton of... You know, cogs, again, filigree, dangly things. They love clocks. They love keys. Um, this is this one. I'm just going to bring a few out. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at these. Um, you know, it's just, I had so much fun. Let me just throw a pile out here and see what I've got. So I'm going to be sending these in a box to her very shortly. Here's these I did. They love these dragon's eyeballs. Why? I don't know, but they do. So I made these little pins. And these can go on a guy's hat. They can go on a girl's hat. They can go on whatever they want to pin them on. So these are little things that I've been making. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Oh, I like this one. This one I show you. This one's really pretty, I think. This one's just an eyeball with a filigree brooch. Actually, that's an old piece of jewelry with a filigree on it. And then this is old jewelry. I think it's a key lock hole. And then these little axes. So, yeah, it's been a blast. Let me see. What else do I have here? What's this one? This one's kind of cool. I have some um, things that go in your hair in here. I can never say the word right, so barrettes. Um, but, yeah. Again, another pin. And then my girlfriend was down here, and she made some stuff, which I will see if I can find. Oh, then I found these boxes in my stash. I'm like, what am I going to do with all these boxes? That one's hard to put in. They're these little slide boxes, and they're all black. So I thought, hmm, why not? So I just kind of did a little bit of steampunky theme on top of them. This little guy's got a skeleton on him. Uh, and so these are going to go into the sale as well. They're just fun. This one's really cool, but it's hard to get in that little baggie. It's got a big old skull on it. They love skulls. They love anything that's just odd. 
Here I am ignoring the stuff I've got out here. That's just, I took keys and just did the key eyeballs and again made them into pins because they enjoy them. Um, my sister said the weirder the better. So I got, had fun playing. This one here, this is just kind of whatever. Um, I took an old flat piece of metal and of course put a brooch on it. These are some leaves that I had ordered. Again, an eyeball. That's not a dragon's eye, that's some other eye. And then I just started hanging these things off it. So I've got a butterfly here, I've got a couple leaves, and I have a clock. And it will just dangle on, whoops, sorry, on their lapel. Let me go back out just a touch so I don't keep cutting in and out. So there's that one. I have to tell you, I had a blast doing this because I didn't have to think about doing something right or wrong. It was however I decided to do it, I did it. You know, it was just fun playing. This little guy, I thought he was kind of cool. <laughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> he looks like a little Mickey Mouse, kind of. He's got his mustache on. He's got his big ears, and then he has a dragon's claw holding a crystal. So I thought he was kind of cool. He was neat. Uh, let's see. Let me show you a weird one. Like I said, she said the weirder the better, and I just, I played. I just had a lot of fun playing. This one I thought was really pretty. This is just a skull piece, and I put him on an old piece of jewelry or something I found like in the um, jewelry section at one of the stores years ago. And then he's got a spider for a mouth, and then he just has this hand hanging down. So these are cool. The weird one. Here's a weird one. This one's a weird one. Um, don't ask me what it is. I don't know. I had fun playing with it, though. Uh, it's this little character. Um, yeah, I don't know what he is. But I did him on a leather leaf that I found in the clearance section somewhere. This is a piece of filigree. Again, butterfly. These are actually, I don't know what they are, but they ended up wings or ears, however you want to look at them. Um, a mouth. Uh, vampire's mouth. Um, just, you know, stuff. But this is what I've been doing, and I have to tell you, I've had a blast. I just cleaned off my desk not long ago. Here's one. I don't know. This is another pin. Just another pin hard to see in the plastic but I really don't want to take all of them out this is a butterfly that has some jewelry um, this jewelry this here the crystal and then this blue I gotta take this one out this one's actually from um, a friend of mine's grandmother that jewelry so it's just a pretty again a brooch a pin whatever they want to do with them <clears throat> I don't make jewelry because, from what I understand, there's a ton of jewelry makers up there that, you know, that's what they sell. So, my sister found out that by selling this kind of stuff, um, you know, it went really well because it's different. So, this is a red leaf. I decided to red eye, some filigree. I've got a little pumpkin um, carriage here and then an octopus. So... Yeah, this has been fun. Uh, this guy I really like. I've ordered eyeballs of all different kinds. This is one of the big eyeballs, which I thought was really pretty. And then this is an old bracelet that I decided to, you know, do gold and silver. And then little pieces, I decided to put eyeballs on. Where's the other one? Here's one. Here's one. Whoops. So just lots of fun. Lots of fun. But this is what I have been doing when I have a couple minutes here or there. I come in, I sit down, I play around with this stuff. I had just, probably two days ago, cleaned off my desk because it was nothing but steampunk. Um, there's another one. I mean, this box is full. I've got to get it ready to send to my sister. Uh, these are just um, pins. Like this one's just a little filigree with a um, spider in the middle and then there's a little tiny human face there. 
skull face, I should say. Another just a little skull. Um, this one's got a mermaid on it. It's a key. And then an eyeball. They're all just... And there's this one. Another pin. Funky eyeball. <laughs> this guy's weird. Oh, this guy I think is really pretty. Here, let me show you. This guy's really weird. He's just him. I don't know what he is, but he's a he's a him. He just enjoys chilling out. Um, this is from an old piece of metal jewelry that I had years and years and years ago. Again, a filigree, some eyeballs, a little nose, mouth, this little um, flat piece of metal, and then I put an octopus on here. So, like I said, these are different. I'm really interested in hearing what you think about these. Just, I'm just curious because I had a blast doing them. This one I thought was beautiful. They like the colors purple and blue. This one, right? Yeah. So this one I thought was really pretty. Just did it with purple. These are filigrees that I just colored with a purple metallic marker. Um, this is actually says congratulations on it this piece it's one of those that we got from like Tim Holtz or something like that it's one of those metal words so I decided to use it as a base and then I put these little things around it so this one I really like this one's really pretty now let me show you some of the ones that my friend did hold on I did all the weird stuff um, they have brooches like this that they, this is how my sister started, and then I just kind of went from there. But this is how they started. They used these wooden circles, and they would make these big pins and stuff out of them. So I did a couple of those, and then I just decided to get creative and just do it my way. Uh, let's see. This little guy, he was kind of weird. He's a pin got some stuff hanging down from him. He's just weird. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I did quite a few of those. And then I really got into using the eyeballs and that kind of stuff. This is a key. This is actually kind of cool. Um, this is a key. I decided to put a bat on top of it. It's a pin, again. Um, I put a bat on, some wings. Here's a clock. Some gears. And it's just a big old key. So that one's neat. I gotta find the ones that my friend did. This one was kind of different. This one was a piece of filigree, and I really didn't know what to do with it. It's kind of a heavier type of a, I don't know what it is. It came with my filigree, but I made it into this one-eyed thing. Um, of course, with little wings here, I've got a clock on here, and then I put this little bottle on the bottom. Which I thought that was kind of cute. Or weird, I should say. Weird's the better word. Um, these, again, are all pins. Here's one with a blue uh, leather leaf. This is a little... I don't know what you call these. It's not a unicycle. If anybody knows what these are called, they're the two-wheel with the big bicycles is what they are. See the bicycle? Um, it has the big wheel on the front and the little wheel on the bottom and the top, the seat is on top of the big wheel. If you know what the name of these are, please let me know because I would like to try to find some more of those so I can decorate them. But that was cool. Just, you know, a lot of, um, this is one of my friends, a lot of eyeballs, a lot of dragons, a lot of skulls, keys, um, this little dragon I did on a piece of like a driftwood and then I put like a black sparkle on the on the wood after I painted it so that was kind of neat this one was cool this I did um, for a guy I thought it was kind of neat I just did a little eagle on there and then some steampunk and again this is just those push maybe I'm pushing the wrong way those little push things I want to find the ones for um, the ones that my friend did. She made little animals, which I thought was really cool. 
I don't have that kind of... Is this one of ours? I think that's one of mine. Uh, this is an actual barrette that goes in your hair. Um, let me pull it out so you can actually see it. Just a little butterfly. I thought he was kind of cool. So that one goes in the hair. I only have a two of those, I think, in here. I didn't buy any more of the backs. So, hold on. Oh, here's one of her little critters. And they are so cute. I think this is hers. It's one of ours. That might be mine. I don't know. But it's just kind of cute. And like I said, the the different, more different it is, the more they like this stuff, which I find very interesting. Um, here is a little bees, little bee. Look at this. She made this one. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I love it. I just love it. Great job. I know more of hers are down in here. Let me find them. I hope you're not bored to death with this. I just thought, I, you know, I'd show you this is something I have been doing. I think that's one of mine. That's one of mine. Okay, here's a little bit of her bugs. Actually, no, this one I did. This is like a little, I don't know, mouse. I don't know. Just something I put together. That's one of the ones I did. Or maybe she did. I don't know. Who knows? I've done so many of these, as you can see, that it's kind of hard to tell who's this who. Um, let's see. Is this one of hers? Yes, this one's cute. <laughs> Look at the little puppy. Ain't he cute? It's like a little puppy dog. With all these little dangly things off him. Isn't that neat? Um, she has some owls in here. I know she does. I can show you one of them that I I just I couldn't let her sell <laughs> or send to my sister, and I'll tell you why. This is one of her owls that she did. Well, the reason I kept it and I am going to keep it is because these earrings are one of my favorite pair of earrings that I wore all through high school. So I just, you know, I got to keep that. It just reminds me of high school. And I had a blast in high school. So here's one of her little owls. So that one's not going anywhere. I talked to her. She knows. Um, let's see. Here's a little guy. I don't know what that one is. She's not. Here's a butterfly. I know. Show you. Oh no, this is a lightning bug or butterfly. I don't know. But isn't that neat? You can make it in your mind whatever you want it to be. They are just so neat. So yeah, you'll have to tell me what you think of these. Um, like I said, there's tons and tons and tons of them here. This is a little, little pig. <laughs> this one's cute. Look at that little pig. <laughs> Ain't <he> cute? <laughs> and again, all of this was done with either costume jewelry or, um, like, this is an old metal heart. Uh, this is an earring from years and years and years ago. Um piece of jewelry. You know, all of this is done just basically from either junk stuff or filigree and cogs. These are just little pendants. I only did three of them because I know they sell, have places that sell other necklaces and stuff. Um, so yeah, all of this stuff was made. This is cute. I gotta show you that one. Show you this one. And this one. And this one. These are hers. But, um, yeah, it did not take a lot to make them, so it was just fun, just a lot of fun. Now, my sister makes, um, let me see if I can show you, where is my, huh, I had to find my journal. I 
just put a couple in here yesterday. My sister, um, my sister's an old soul, and she makes these. I don't know what she calls them, but they're little demons and little... I don't know what they are. Hang on. I'll show you a picture of them as soon as I can find it. I know I put a page in here yesterday of them. This is another thing I've been working on is filling up some journals so I can just do a flip through. Where are you? Here they are. So she sews these little creatures out of felt. Here's her little devil. This is a little girl that I've got. Um, I, you know, I fell in love with her and I asked this. I said, can I buy that from you? And she, of course, she just gave it to me. So this is my little girl. I just love her. Little devils. And like I said, just these little odd characters. And it only takes her a few minutes to sew them up. So she sells these and they go like wildfire. So that's one of the things that she does. My niece, um, she makes the hats that have all of the steampunk around, like the top hat type things that have the steampunk around the brim and that kind of stuff. And she really, she really does really well at those and she enjoys it. So let's see. Now here's another little owl. Like I said, I'm going to show you a few more things and then I'm going to wrap up this video because you don't. What happened? Where'd it go? Huh. I don't know. I don't know why that's on there. Um, yeah, here's this little guy. Let's get the wire out of there. This little guy. Ain't he cute. He's got little danglies up here. But he's cute too. She had fun. We just sat here and, you know, I, I have a bunch of different trays with all old costume jewelry and that kind of stuff in it. And um, we just played. Just had a lot of fun playing. This one. <laughs> Here's the pin to it. There we go. Upside down. There we go. Here it is. Aren't these adorable? I just absolutely love them. I think they're fabulous. And I showed, I've been showing pictures to my sister, and she's like, oh my gosh. She goes, we can't wait to get our hands on those. I'm like, well, they're all yours. This one here, little owl. He's got little legs hanging down. Isn't that cute? These are just so much fun. I mean, just big eyeballs, and I've got to put these back together. Oh, here's more of her, this little creature. It's just cute. I'm going to put these boxes kind of together. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to take all this out and put it in a box to mail. I showed you this one, I think. That's an owl. Another brat that just has um, a big old eyeball on it. Here's three more that I want to show you. And then I'm going to wrap this up. This little guy, little owl. <laughs> cute. And again, all out of, you know, just cogs and stuff I have hanging around. This guy I really like, too. Isn't he cool? He has little danglies here. Um, a filigree a washer. Um, this is just a pounded piece of wire. And then cogs. They're just so fun to make. So there's that one. There's these. This one's just a little. Um, they love Alice. Is it Alice in Wonderland? I don't know. But it's got a little bunny and a clock on it. That's kind of cute. This one actually came a lot together. I had bought it years ago. Um, this piece here to do something in my journal with and I had never done anything and all this stuff was hanging on it so I thought you know what I'm going to put it on some filigree um, and then just you know add a little bit to it and there it is so this one will be neat on any lady's cloak or hat or whatever so there's all kinds of stuff in here um, there's some bad words which we're going to cover up 
This one's kind of cool. This is more for a man. It's got the eagle on it. Um, it's hard to see. Yeah, I said I was going to wrap this video up. but So this, you know, this could go on a guy's outfit very easily because it's got the clock and the eagle and just the key. A couple stars. So. Get back in there. But yeah, this is the fun. This is the fun of what, you know, has been going on. And this is what I've been doing, just playing. Um, this guy is just a brooch. Just a big old skull. So yeah, this is what I've spent the last month since I got home um, doing because I had a timeline on this. Now I just have to get it all ready to get in the mail. Um, so yeah, this is what I've been working on and she's really excited. She can't wait to do whatever she wants to do with it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that I have not, not been arting. Um, art is a part of my pretty much everyday life. I do it in one way or another, whether it's personal journaling or playing with this. Um, I've also been working on my stained glass shed. Um, I have a new cutting system which is going to be absolutely fabulous. I'm waiting for the weather to cool down a little bit more so I can go out there and do some more stained glass because that's something I do enjoy doing. Um, it, you know I've been spending some time here at the desk but not as much as you know I have been doing everything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment box below and I will answer them for you and I hope you all have a great day thanks so much for watching bye